Okay. Now that we've practiced drawing a box and whisker plot, let's see if you know how to read one. Let's use the box and whisker plot from our last video. And I'm going to tell you that this represents the length of fish that I caught in Battleground Lake. So my first question is, and this is in centimeters, how long was the smallest fish that I caught when I went to Battleground Lake? Well, the smallest fish is your furthest extreme. So according to this, my smallest fish was five centimeters. Well, if that's true, then how long was the biggest fish that I caught when I went to Battleground Lake? Where's the biggest fish? It's up here at the largest extreme. So apparently my biggest fish was 20 centimeters. Well, what was the range of the lengths of the fish that I caught? Do you remember how to find a range? You take these two extreme values and you find their difference. 20 minus 5 is 15 centimeters. Okay, now here's where we find out if you really understand what a box and whisker plot is representing. This whisker is representing 25% of the data. This portion of the box is representing 25% of the data. Oop, there we go. This portion of the box is representing 25% of the data. And finally, this whisker is also representing 25% of the data. So I have kind of an open-ended question for you. It says here, 50% of all fish caught were between what two lengths? Well, the bottom 50% were between 5 and 12 centimeters. The middle 50% were between, that's what, 8.5 we said? So between 8.5 and, and 4, or yeah, 14 centimeters. And then the top 50% caught were between 12 and 20 centimeters. So do you see why that's an open-ended question? Again, the bottom 50% is represented by where I'm kind of shading with this burgundy color. So again, from 5 to 12 centimeters. The middle 50% would be here where the box is. So again, from 8.5 to 14 centimeters. And finally, the top 50% is here where I'm shading in the green from 12 to 20 centimeters. So again, each of these sections, that's why it's called a quartile. It represents one-fourth, or 25% of the data.